I'm Sir Tap Tap. Let's play Counter Terror. Moon Loop presents the Moon with a loop. Also a city. Chip tune music. People. Counter Terror. Awesome tactical action. Click to start. All right, we got single player, two player co-op, more shoot and games. Best pizza in town map. That is an interesting map. Well, let's take a peek at single player. Let's see. Hmm. The difficulty starts you on easy. I'm going to take that as a sign. Um, I'm sure I'll figure it out. Training camp. Agent Fred, you're the best man I have. I don't really know why you have to do this training every morning. <laughs> anyway, use cursor to move, X to fire, and Z to jump. Try and proceed? Is that a P? What? What, hap what happened to that P? What did you do? What did you do to that font? I demand an answer. Our enemies are dangerous, but quite stupid. If you stay crouched, they won't hit you. Press the down cursor to crouch, and then shoot. Proceed. <laughs> Neat. This is getting tricky. Try to shoot this grunt from above. To do so, you must jump, push down, shoot while in air. Okay, I get it. You can also shoot enemies above you. Fire and push the up cursor. I guess that was stairs. Must be. This is a weird layout here. Nade! Hand grenades are pretty useful against a group of enemies or to break walls and floors. Stand here and throw a grenade at the sea button. Destructible environments? They sure are. Blow up with a nade or jump behind their cover to avoid avoiding their bullets. It's up to you. I wonder if it's possible to like destroy so much of the environment you can't proceed. I don't really want to find out right now, though. You think you're stuck. Cycle through your gear with the S button. Choose the rope and use it with the C button. Uh, what button cycles through? Oh, S. Right. Neat! Try to collect heavy vests to absorb more damage. If you lose your protection, a bullet can kill you. You can also collect additional supplies. Look around for them. You're also equipped with flashbacks. Use them to stun your enemies. Rescue the hostage by flashing. Whoa. Gross. I don't hurt the hostages. Um. That was unnecessary. After you're rescuing all the hostages, you can make your way through the e exit of the building. Good job, Agent. See you tomorrow morning. Frickin' psycho. Fracking. Mission complete! I think a chiptune telephone just went off. I'd buy a chiptune telephone. Bank robbery! I wonder if I was supposed to see the intro. Agent Fred. Captain Pliskin here. Rescue all the hostages and then head to the exit point. Over. Damn it, Bob. They got you. I swear I'll avenge your death, pal. Not dead. They just shot me in the leg. Dude, you just ruined a great dramatic intro sequence. What? No, I can't kill him. Well. Maybe I shouldn't shoot everyone. <laughs> That's stupid. I'm gonna shoot everyone. Oh god. I should have been shooting everyone. I wish I could see over further, because by the time I can see them, they can see me. Which... I guess makes sense, honestly. Yeah, I'm dead. So... Just kill everyone on this floor. The only problem I have with that... I mean, it makes sense that you see them and then they see you, but the problem with that is that it makes the game sort of focused on knowing where everyone is from the get-go. I mean, or you can be super slow and careful. But... Hmm. 
Oh, cool, you can destroy desks. Oh, no, you can't. It's kind of close. Well, I guess they're, like, sort of destructible. <laughs> like how he's just going around shooting stuff. Okay, there's a... Yeah, I need to not shoot. How come his bullets go over the desk? That is preferential treatment. Um... <laughs> you know what would be much more fun than uh, using a grappling hook? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like the destructible environment. That's a nice twist on it. Oh, <laughs> nice twist on it. This is a pretty neat little thing. This is not really what I was expecting. It's much more tactical and stuff than I was expecting. I figured... Come on with me, ma'am. I like how they're more than happy to just shoot the wall. Checkpoint! Okay, I was wondering what that was. Yeah, this is pretty neat. So, like I said, it's sort of weird that they can shoot when you, like, places you can't. But, on the other hand, you have much greater mobility, so... It's not really unfair. Not sure what that pumpkin with the top hat's all about. See if we scare that guy. Hey, guy, are there are bullets over your. Oh, never mind. I guess I didn't really need to jump there. Ha! <laughs> Off the building with you. Music's not bad either. Very chip tuny. So, how you got this job? How you got this job? There's, there isn't a second burglar up there. You know, I've been doing a lot of these smart parts for Hollywood. That was Henchman number four and Lethal Trap four, Die Hard another day. Cool. And when you decided to do it for real, I, I'm guessing we have some non-English speaker going on here. It's not a major issue. But... You mean this robbery is real? So that's why there are no cameras around. I'm gonna go fire that idiot even agent this time. It's really hard to tell the uh, eyes from the exclamation points in this font. Ow! Oh, he can crouch too? Please don't shoot that guy. Okay, I don't think he can shoot the... Uh... Yeah, they don't seem to be able to shoot the hostages, which is good. But I assume I can. So that's... Out the window! I love it. That was fun. Alright! Three stars! Man, would somebody answer that frickin' shiptune phone? Honestly. Well, let's bump up the difficulty, I guess. Wait, let me, let me miss the intro. Let's, let's go back to the intro. Thank you for being here today, sirs. You're the best in your field, and the country needs you. I don't know what button to press. I'm pressing buttons. You hear me pressing buttons. What do I press? What? Seriously. What do I press? I am pressing every key on the keyboard. I am right clicking. I am. Um. Okay, there is no way to continue that intro that I can tell. Unless there's something on the controls. No. I mean, I was advancing text fine before. Aw, this stupid machine just stole my coin! <laughs> You gotta be kidding me! It was working before- What? What? What did I press? 
Well, you have no future in this job. Okay, I press. It's just. It was just Z there. Let's see if I can get the menu, the intro to go. I'm sorry, I failed to operate the menu before. But I mean, no, it's just suck. Okay. Okay. Try to be a little faster this time. That was fun, but it took a little too long. Especially since I'm not in a huge amount of danger. So as long as I crouch, I'm basically invincible. Hey! He's all out of bubble gum. I have some bubble gum. It's strawberry flavored. Oh, lovely! Thank you, sir. <laughs> oh god. Don't. Don't. Okay. Hey! You got grenades? That's not- Huh. Okay, maybe we should be slightly slower. I kinda wanna rappel down a... Like an open window or something. Did he just... Walk out the window? Honestly. Come on, man. Don't just throw your life away. I somehow got hit. Hey! <laughs> Shit. Ugh. Did I kill one of the- yeah, I killed a hostage. Oh well. Oh well. This game's pretty fun, but I probably won't ah, play to its completion. Let's honestly, let's take it back to easy. I'll probably just do one more level. I mean, it's pretty fun. I would recommend it. Um, just not too much more to see here aside from you know people's witty remarks and you know some new level stuff. But it's a lot more of a tactical sort of shooter than I was expecting. That looks pretty good for the for the pixely look. Oh. I guess I should have seen or should have looked for that. <laughs> um vest first. You know, that animated logo is really, oops, unnecessary and annoying, I gotta say. I don't like unnecessary animations, because they draw attention a lot. That's generally the point of an animation. Um, unless you're showing how something works, and I mean, there's no reason to show how the logo works. It's not super, it doesn't move super often, but it still moves a lot more than I would like. Which is not at all. Killed two hostages. I think I have killed less than I've rescued. Maybe. Well, I will after. Yeah, after I save that one. I think. Alrighty. So, despite you being able to duck, it's not quite as easy as I initially thought. I'm also strongly tempted to just grenade to get to the next area, which is really... I like that. I like that you can just do that. I think I will do just that. After I grab that. There you go. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Well, it helped me kill the guy. I didn't consider that it would take out the floor, too. Are you a good guy or a bad guy? bad guy. I was like, huh? Oh! Hey. How do I get up there? Hmm, can I grenade the ceiling? I guess I could grapple up. I don't know, unless they're... 
Unless they're hostages, I guess I don't really need to go up there, though. Who built this building? Seriously. Freaking just holes in the floor. Checkpoint. Just what I needed. Ow. Just a duct. No reason not to duck, really. So I take it the guys with the red hats are like the Rambo ones. Extra tough and whatnot. The problem with that is that they don't create a gap. What? Uh, you throw a grenade at a wall and due to the gap in the floor and the height of the ceiling left behind, you can't really jump through it. Which is unfortunate. Why did that guy have a red bag? Can I aim grenades up? Uh, that was perhaps not the most well-advised idea. I hope I'm not missing anyone. Any hostages, rather. Bags of money! Hey! Floors cost money, pal. They don't just grow on the floor tree. Pretty sure the floor tree went extinct a few thousand years ago, so... Yeah. I guess I don't have any hostages in here, do they? Hey! <laughs> the... Hey! This is a pretty sparse vault, I gotta say. Oh, they do have hostages in here. And I'm missing one. Great. Alright, well, we'll get the last hostage, and then we'll call it a day. Um, this was a fun little game, though. Um, I definitely recommend it. It's like a, well, not a stealth, but more of a tactical shooter than you usually see out of these Flash games. And there's some pretty cool options here with, like, the grappling hook and the grenade. Um, though, it'd be nice... I don't know. The grenade would be more useful if there was some way to break through walls, but, you know, be able to get through. Maybe if you combine it with the grappling hook. I like the grappling hook. I like the consumable items like the grappling hook and the grenade, but at the same time, I know I'm underutilizing them. Who the crap am I missing and where? A map would be excellent. I don't, I don't think there's a map button. All I see everywhere is just dead bodies. I'm sure someone saw... Fuck. Um the mistake I made, and they're completely unable to help me. Oh! That's a way to make it work. I think it must be on one of these two floors. Did I even go all the way over here? Oh, whoa. Try not to die. Pro tip, do not die. Oh! Yeah, seriously, where is the guy I am missing? Like, a one last hostage indicator would be nice, like, you know, just telling you if you wait for a while after there's only one hostage left, you know, indicating their position, that'd be a nice way to mitigate the uh, current issue. Your mobility options are kind of limited. I don't really need to do that. Okay, if I don't find that stupid hostage up this way... I'm gonna rage quit. I must have missed some of this. Are you... I didn't see that one. The falling distance... Or the limited falling distance seems kind of unnecessary. I mean, it could at least damage you, but not instant kill you. It is currently insta kill, best I can tell. It's 
see, like... It makes falling way more dangerous than actual combat. And there's a place for that in some games, but there we go. Yeah, I'm not a fan of it right now. Um, what happens if you need to get up here, but... Sorry. But you uh, don't have a grapple. Like having to be super careful. I mean, you fall more than one floor and you're dead. I, mean, I guess is realistic in a way, but I don't know. it's a bit much. I, I'd be perfectly fine with taking damage. Ow! It seems weird. I can take bullets to the chest all day, but I fall, you know, a little bit more than normal and sudden death. Or I mean, if damage ramped up depending on how far how far you fell. That'd be cool, too. Oh, God. See, and falls like that, I don't know if I'll die or not. Yeah, I would've died. I would've so died. Wait, let's go up the top way. Let's be sneaky. You gotta be sneaky, Charlie. Sneaky. Sneaky. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Apparently, you can shoot them after rescuing them. Good to know! <laughs> okay. I was wondering exactly where the exit was. I think I saw an exit. Like, Ike, or like, sign. Very glad you can jump up on there. The graphics are pretty decent for, you know, they're pixely, but, you, you know, they put a little work into there making, you know, an actual bank vault and stuff. So that's nice. When I first saw this level, I was worried all the levels are going to look the same. This must be the exit. Yep. Alright. Ah, that pixel phone. Somebody pick it up. Oh, hey. There are different areas. Let's take a quick peek, and we'll probably be done, though. Your mission is to get inside a hijacked cargo ship and retrieve information about our enemy's base. Over. Psst. Now I regret signing that insurance for zombie attacks instead of the falling from a 100 or 1,000 feet one. It seems smart to move at the time. We're over our target. Get ready to launch the Agent Fred. Good luck. You fall from the air? That is awesome. Okay, we're playing this level now. Huh. I guess this game does have some tricks up its sleeve, but still. Physics are a bit weird, but not unmanageable. What? 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 OP. Nerf that. Freaking grenade guys, OP. But it's my nose. Nose itching should be nerfed in the next patch, man. Shouldn't I have a parachute? I knew I forgot something this morning. Gosh darn it. At least the sun is pretty. No, no you do- I shot your balloons, good sir. You cannot float in the air after I shoot your balloons. Didn't- haven't you seen cartoons? Honestly, he's got like three helium balloons. I seriously doubt that would be able to support a human body, but I mean, if you sh then shoot those balloons. He definitely shouldn't fall. Oh well. It would actually be an interesting balance thing, too, because, I mean, you'd be able to actually hit him. He's actually fairly hard to hit, especially when he's, you know, dropping grenades on you. I got one! Pretty. I should probably deploy that parachute at some point. This was fun, but I'm ready for the boat now. Do the boat. I should buy a boat. Come on. Ground. Or boat, rather. What? What? Aw. Oh. And there was no checkpoint either, was there? Oh well. This is a good enough stopping point as any. This has been Counter Terror. It's pretty cool. But, you know. Whoa. 
I don't see too much reason to finish the whole dang thing. If you want a more tactic-y, tactics-y, tactical game, um, I'd give it a shot. Though this level isn't really very tactical. I mean, your ideal thing is probably just stay up top. You know, just kind of sit here. I mean, only some of them even shoot. Oh well. Tap tap out! <laughs>